Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this video. I'm going to show you rendering or delivering video from Premiere Pro. As you can see, I've got this video clip that I've completed and I'm ready to send it off to its destination. First thing you want to do is click over where it says deliver. Once you're in the deliver page, on the upper left hand corner you have multiple rendering options. So let's say you're uploading this to YouTube. All you need to do is click YouTube and it'll already select pretty much everything you need to do in order to send a video to YouTube. But let's say I want to do some customization on this. First thing, let's name it. I'm just gonna call it render one. Choose the destination where you're going to be sending it to. In my case, I'm just going to throw it to my desktop for the purpose of this tutorial. Single clip and individual clips, kind of uh, self-explanatory. You can highlight over it if you're not sure. Next thing you can do is make changes to your video or audio settings. For example, let's say I don't want to do QuickTime. Maybe I want to do an MP4 video. I can choose that or if I'm on QuickTime, maybe I want to change to a different codec. No problem at all. Resolution, sometimes I might reduce my resolution depending on where I'm sending it, if I'm just kind of sending it as an example versus actually just sending the full resolution video that'll help reduce kind of size. Same thing with uh, quality, you can reduce the size of it as well if you need to. I usually leave mine on automatic and best. The rest of the stuff I generally don't mess with. Once again, if you know where you are sending it to, or if let's say the person on the other end says, please send it in this type of a format, this is where you're gonna change all that. Otherwise, just leave it at the defaults. Once you're ready to go, hit add to render queue. Now what it's gonna do is select that whole video and prep it to be rendered. All right, next thing. A little tip here, let's say you only want to take a look at a section, maybe you want to export it, look at it on a different screen and see how it comes out, or listen to it on a different screen, you can do that as well. You've got this option here of entire timeline or in and out range. Move the playhead to where you want it. On your keyboard, hit I. That's going to set the in, hit O for the out, and now that's going to render just that clip or that section. So let's say in this example, I wanna have just a listen to that specific section. I'm gonna go up, I can choose audio only, select that, hit add to render queue. Now what it's gonna do is just give me just the audio from that. One other nifty little thing here I'm gonna show you real quick is if you go to your color and maybe you just want to render sections of the video that have been color corrected so you can see what that looks like on a different screen in your color panel or color page go to clips hit clips drop down hit graded clips and it's going to give me just those options of the graded clips jump back to deliver add to render queue and now it's got those clips let's say you um, may want to make a change to something in regards to what it looks like just select the one that you want hit this little pencil option, and it's gonna give you the option of readjusting. So notice what it did there is it's like, okay, you originally selected this section and these settings. So I can now change that if I wanna call it something other than render one, so I'm not confused. Maybe I'm gonna call that render two. And maybe I want to adjust the video clip just a little bit more. Once I've made my changes, go update job. It's gonna update that particular job with those new changes. Now when I'm ready to render, if I had just job two selected and hit star render, what it would do is it would render just that one. So what you want to do is make sure you've got all of them selected. I'm just using the shift key on my keyboard and selecting them. And I'm going to hit start render. Okay, one thing I'd like to point out here too, actually, in comparison to Premiere Pro and DaVinci, which is kind of the common comparison, I find DaVinci renders videos much faster than Premiere Pro. I'm not really too sure why you know, or what on the back end, the dev work they've done to make that happen, but it's kind of a nice feature of DaVinci over Premiere. But it still might take a while depending on the length of your video. In this case, my video is only 30 seconds long, so it's not an issue. 
Also a quick disclaimer here while we're waiting on this to render. Note that you'll see bird's eye pop up on the screen. I have no affiliation with the company. This was a parody video that was done and so they were just using a bird's eye and I'm just choosing to use this particular video for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, my rendering's done. It's given me the option of clearing that filter that I had there where I had just those two selected, which I'm going to do. And now my status is all showing completed. You can get additional information if you want by going to show job details. Um, personally, I kind of already know all this because I selected it, so it's not really an option I ever select. When you're ready to clear these out, you can delete them by just hitting the little X key or in that drop down that I was just in, go clear rendered jobs. And that's all there is to rendering a video from DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully you found that useful and have a good day or night.